look at moving from English to logical operators. So we're going to consider three propositions. C will represent that you come to class. S represents that you study every day. And G will represent that you get a good grade. So let's start with this one. You come to class and study every day, but you don't get a good grade. So when we're doing these, we're looking for keywords. This and is going to indicate a logical and. This is connected to the good grade part by a but. And sometimes it's easier to reword things. You come to class and study every day, but you don't get a good grade implies that you are coming to class and you are studying and you still get a bad grade. So this is another and. And the negation of G, because we're not getting a good grade. We're getting a bad grade here. In general, since these are all ands, we don't actually need the parentheses. However, you can use it. Coming to class is sufficient for getting a good grade. Well, this one is a different variation of an if-then statement, which we did in a previous video. In particular, this is sufficient. It's just like an if-then. So if you come to class, then you get a good grade. Another one. In order to get a good grade, you need to study every day. So like I said, sometimes it's a lot easier if you reword these. So in order to get a good grade, you need to study every day. We can reword that as if you study every day, then you get a good grade. Another way to reword it would be if you don't study every day, then you don't get a good grade. Either one of these would work. But in particular, we can see that this is not going to be an and or a but statement with this in order. So it's important to just kind of reword this to something equivalent using an if and a then. Whenever you come to class and study every day, you get a good grade. So here's this and. So we have the coming to class and studying every day. As far as the rest of it, it doesn't seem like you should have an and or an or. So let's try to reword this. If you come to class and study every day, then you get a good grade. There's another way of saying this. So this is an if then. One more, if you don't get a good grade, or you don't get a good grade unless you come to class and study every day. So this unless is the key here. First, you need to come to class and study every day, and then that implies that you're going to get a good grade. So if you don't come to class and study, then you don't get a good grade. And this can lead us into logic puzzles. So we'll look at one in particular. We're going to let knights be people that always Tell the truth, knaves always lie. So here we run into two people. B states, or A states that B is a knave and B states that neither of us is a knave. So we need to try to figure out what's happening. So let's start assuming A is a knight. This means they're telling the truth, which means that B is a knave. B says neither of us is a knave. Well, according to what we just figured out, he would be lying if he was a knave. And he is here. So this is valid. Let's see what happens if we assume the other way. If we assume A is a knave and is lying, that would imply that B 
has to be a knight because A was lying and B is not a knave. Well, B says neither of us is a knave and he must be telling the truth. However, that does contradict. He's a knight, so he must be telling the truth, but we already decided that A was a knave. So that's not valid. So we only have one possible case to work with. 